Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time today. We're going to take a look at a 2024 Grand Design Reflection. Model number 303 RLS weighs 10,000 pounds. It's a tried and true floor plan. My favorite fifth wheel floor plan. Opposing slides in the back. Wardrobe slide up front. Island kitchen in the middle of it. This one's going to make you more aggressive than the carnivore diet. I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hannemeyer, on the camera today. Say hello, Brendan. What's going on, happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. If you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, that would be amazing. We're also on Instagram, we're on TikTok, and we're on Facebook. We're doing some shorter videos there. We're going to do a sweet one on this guy. You should check that out as well. Grand design, always killing it. Good job. Enjoy this trailer, everyone. Right on, right on. Not a huge amount of differences between the 2023, but there's definitely been some recent updates like the grab handle, like the screen defender, a few things like that that really lift this up just a little bit higher. We still got that great look in front fiberglass cap with the gray or the silver paint job on the front there. Nice LED in the front lighting up our 1621 pin box. Our rougher style storage dropping down below that. You got your battery location in through here, 50 amp charge controller. Uh, because we have a 370 watt solar panel on the roof, co collecting that sun juice, coming down through our solar charger, charging our battery while we're on the fly in through there. 30 pound per pain tanks, one on either side. Magnets holding this barn door over to the left there. Why do you think the, it matters, Brandon, that these are like opening like this? Because now you can actually get inside it without having to bend over a door, just being sideways like this because exactly. of the slide. Exactly. So typically your door right through here and you're underneath it trying to do your stuff. Opening this up wide is pretty wicked. Plus, Brandon, if you got this door closed, let's say you got that whole storage jam packed full of stuff and we just want to do some hookups in through here. Boom. Pop up the half door, hook things up. You're ready to go. Now, popping this back open. We've got our auto leveling controls over there to our left. We're prepped right here for the tire pressure monitoring. Not prepped. Included, Brandon. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> just like the Kool-Aid man. Good yeah. work, brother. And then we got some gate valves in through here. City water connection, black water flush, get outside shower, outside receptacle. We're winterizing from here. We're sanitizing from here. Filling our freshwater tank. All that plumbing related items are done in through there. Furnace vent there. On-demand gas, water heater by Furion. 50 empty detachable style cord. Our actual sewer drain is here with a nice LED light. Lighten that up. 16 inch Goodyear tires, aluminum rims with Moride Tree 3000 suspension. Working hot in through there. We have a sewer hose holder down below. And as we wrap around the back side here, class three receiver with a four way wiring. Good for 300 pounds downward pressure, 3000 pounds pulling. Roof ladder, get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. It's a one piece roof, just how I like my grandmother's bathing suits. Prepped up there for a backup camera. We're also prepped in the sides for side cameras if you want to add those on. Rack and pinion style slide in our main slide and our kitchen slide, pulling our furniture and our kitchen off the floor. We got a secondary awning on the main slide with LED lights. An outside receptacle, outside coax hookup. So if you want to put outside TV here, you can do that. We got our four step entrance. Nice and secure all the way to the ground. These stairs are going to flip over too, so any debris is going to end up on the floor uh, of, the, of the, the campground, not the floor of your trailer. This is the new grab handle we got in through here. It comes down further, easier for shorter people to get up and in. Nice and secure. We've got the screen defender here, which we were talking about. Pretty nice stuff. Okay. And then we have the other side of our pass through. You'll notice this side of the pass through widens up. So we can get some more stuff in through here. Battery disconnect, another motion sensitive light, uh, aluminum framing in through here, an outside receptacle there. So you know what I like about this, Brennan. We put a little two cubic foot electric fridge, plug it in there. We're cooking with gas. And then right here's our electric on at the front, going all the way back to where the slide starts. And then right here, B, we're going inside, see what kind of travel access we have. So we can get up into the bedroom bathroom quite easily. We can turn the corner here. Can't get to the freezer, but we can get to the fridge here on the side of the road. We can take the child lock off. Bingo, bango. Let's get this thing opened up. Right on. 
on folks we're inside that 303 rls and yeah this is just tried and true it's just awesome you're standing up in the bathroom uh hallway kind of area looking back into the real living room feels like we're in an apartment in through here very very uh spacious good floor space good counter space good storage space i'm sitting here on a trifold sofa that's going to pull out lengthwise you're sleeping two people here if they're in love We've got these great sliding windows all the way around the back side of it here. Um, so we're gonna get some good airflow in through here. We got couch side tables with receptacles on either side, smaller cupboards as well. They've adjusted the latches for this year, Brendan. Like we're not using the push latches. These are magnets that are gonna hold the doors closed. Pretty convenient. Fireplace in through here, throwing out some good electric heat. TV on top of it facing our theater seats. Then we're gonna have a big drawer in through here for all your CDs. Oh yeah. All your DVDs. This TV is on an arm so you can pull this out, have it face the couch, but it's a pretty good spot right now facing the theaters. We've got our radio slash DVD player here. Covered space here with a receptacle. So putting like a receiver in there is pretty slick and easy. Into our kitchen now, we have our pantry. There is a motion sense of light in through there, shelving all the way to the ground, oversized microwave, kitchen window, three burner fury on stove top, oven down below, single drawer in through here. We've also got a larger cupboard there for a garbage can. We can always do that in, the, in the, the kitchen island too. And another big size drawer in through there below the oven. And we already have one look at the fridge. But here's our freezer now opened up on the left hand side, 12 volt fridge, running off the battery, battery being charged off that 370 watt solar panel, and then here into the hutch, nice deep hutch, so we can actually put our coffee maker here, maybe even set something in front of it, receptacles there too, shelving there, cupboard, cupboard, another cupboard in through there, a couple smaller drawers on either side of the two large drawers larger drawer there this is a fake cupboard because it's access to the uh, back of the water heater slash furnace and then one more cupboard there that's skinny right in through there now I don't want to buzz through the island how do you feel about these lights Brennan I really like these lights yeah and very classic yet yeah, like kind of like the smoky design great finish here on the wood above the lights fantastic fan above me or pardon me max fan solid surface countertops everywhere pull out faucets Tapes down, uh, solid surface sink inserts. What? Nothing. Oh, I thought you said something. I knew if you said something, though, it was going to be enlightening. Garbage can and recycling bins are going to fit down and through there. Again, I really like these latches, just holding those clothes like that. Uh, over here on the door side, we have a freestanding table and chairs with our ottoman. A lot of people, Brendan, and you know this, I'm not talking, I'm talking to the audience at home. A lot of people take this ottoman out of here, put it in front of the couch, and they just have a chair on either side. You'll notice we still have no carpet here in the slide, and you'll notice we have big door side windows facing our campsite instead of facing the neighbor's campsite. Cover space here across the top. Our theater seats are right here facing our TV. Heat, massage built into those theaters. Three cup holders, so one of you get two get drinks on the go, and we do have reclining action through here. Feeling good about the living? Oh, yeah. All right. Heading up the hallway, we've got a new grab handle for this year. It's like a, a cast iron kind of piece. And then into our washroom, it's an ensuite washroom, so we can go right through it into our bathroom. That's oh, right, into our bedroom. Porcelain toilet here, dump truck fits, no doubt about it. Seamless counter space, decent sized sink, cupboard right through there for a smaller garbage can in the bathroom. Medicine cabinet there. And then across from that medicine cabinet, we get this bonus big cupboard right in through there fan here no skylight but we have a light in the shower i kind of like that brendan because if you're showering in the morning showering late at night you're not getting any light through that sunlight so it's nice to have that light there so you're not showering in the dark good looking shower head here got that soap uh holder right through there too yeah nice stuff i fit in there i'm six feet tall quite easily linen storage there drawer down below and then here's our wardrobe okay well we got two feet wide there a drawer here a drawer there a drawer there now when we're sitting here Brendan you'll notice 
There's no carpet here in this upper step anymore. I'm gonna ask you a question. Okay. Undies, socks, undies, socks. Which one are you doing? Second. Second for the undies? Yeah. Socks on top. Socks on top. Safe for that one. <laughs> yeah. Window in here in the wardrobe slide as well, which is nice. We get some cross ventilation. Bedside lights. Smaller cupboard there. Linoleum continues in there, which is great. Bigger cupboard there. Cupboards here across the top too. USB and receptacles on both sides. Nice headboard. And then we have, you know, basically the same thing over on the other side. Good storage underneath. Door side window in through here as well. It's also an exit window. And this particular one has a second AC. Hit the like button, the subscribe button. Hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.